Bitcoin on Congress was to be the charity. And the business community, they will go to the next few weeks or the next few months. Because what's likely to happen is the next couple of years. So what the Chinese government will then inherit is not a thriving, prosperous locality, it will inherit an empty shop. Having a consultant firm that makes one of only two drugs proven to help combat coronavirus has been taken to task as it refuses to let anyone else make it. The US has bought up the entire stock of remdesivir, meaning the rest of the world won't be able to access it until October. Simon Clark's on Julia Hartman on Talk Radio. It's a disgrace. It's a drug undertaking, so Gilead can control the vaccines. That needs to be addressed. Gilead needs to be taken apart about how the rest of the world can get rid of this drug. Because it shortens the course of infection.
identity politics when, you know, we were a sort of slightly more unified society. And now I've come to a point where, unfortunately, uh, the phone footballers feel within their own narrative that they can't wear it. And now, you know, because of this confusion that's come from this, we, we may have to accept that. And that is a real tragedy. You know, football should be apolitical. One of the reasons why the English game, and, and I say that with a capital E and a capital G, spread around the world so much is because of the values that it's syndicated within itself of personal achievement, team achievement, and later on, professional <laughs> things um, to add to it, cultural ideas. And I'll tell you something else as well. Um, I'm getting um, a bit of um, pushback from BLM supporters, as been Villa fans, because I'm a director of the support group. Um, you know, thank goodness for the campaigns at the moment. They would be the Thank you. 
recently, uh, and lots of football games that we've watched on the TV, you know, they're all standing with their heads bowed in the centre circle for some reason or other. Now, some of it might be quite worthy, but an awful lot of it is simply just trying to do the right thing. You know, why don't you just come out on the football pitch and play football? Precisely. And we're seeing that Sky Sports, all the presenters, and even the pundits, that where the protection of banking is not like Carrie Hill or the Frankie. Yeah, yeah. You know, free, free health service. Yeah. Um, oh, that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, yeah. Prostate cancer. Yeah, yeah. And then you have this sort of, you know, oh, hang on, we've got no ribbon for, you know, HIV. You know, it's ridiculous. It's totally mad. Where did we get that? You know, first of all, take the badges off because it's bad for the tailoring. Yeah. And, and secondly, as I say, we have. Yeah. Have How fast are the weekend, Johnny? And if they want to start. It's night time, Wednesday night, where you are. Anal people and. Oh, yeah, people. yeah. Motorhead. Oh, right. Public image limited. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, are you doing alright? Oh, well, Mickey's alright as well. Come on, it's ridiculous. And Matt Patissier came out, even Gary Lineker came out and said, I'm not going to retweet this. Right. They could have done the. <laughs> Tank stand here. This is for the boiler to go in. So I'm just going to get this done here. I'm going to have to go downstairs and cut the other board up because I can't get up the stairs. So, um, I worked all day yesterday, got through it, I was on painkillers, I was in bed for 20 to 7 last night, I think it was, I got in a bath, put some muscle rub on, had some more painkillers, um, like I said, I was in bed for 20 to 7 last night, that's where I stayed till half past 5 this morning, so, um, got up to go to the toilet a few times, that was about it really, it's just, um, but yeah, it was, it was it's not so bad now because I've took a couple of ibuprofen, so they've they've kicked in. Got a couple of ten, a couple more at like ten o'clock, uh, twelve o'clock somewhere like that. So yeah, it's just yeah, maybe slept a bit open. I don't know, but. Me. 
who is a man. Good enough. Now, I, I, I just want to... She's going to kick me, kick me in the, uh, in the side, Jordy. By the way, she was bashing the chicken the other night. I thought she was kind of going, came to school in the way she was going at it, so... Charge 
You've played any games? You've got for your birthday yet, Jordi? Oh, you're not tackled them yet. Message me. Like I said, I've been through it before. I've been through, like I say, depression, anxiety, stuff. I've been through it all. You know what I mean? So if you ever need to talk, like I said, don't ever, don't ever think you can't message me and have a talk to me. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's, I've, I've, I've been there myself. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a good place. You know? Um, luckily, like I say, like, I'll tell you one thing now. Like, people will see me now. Don't worry. I've said to me, I said, you've never had, you've never had mental health issues, you've never had problems, you've never had depression. I said, yeah, I have mates, and I tell you. And everybody sees me now as a, as, a, as a joker, you know what I mean? And, you know, having a laugh and stuff like that, and nobody sees me what I was, like, 2007, 2008, when I was, like, literally, you know, in a bad place, so. Uh, but, yeah, if you ever need to tell Jordy, like I said, just give me a message, you know what I mean? It's like I've said to everybody, you know, don't ever, don't ever think you've got no one to talk to, you know what I mean? I always, I always talk to everybody, you know what I mean? So. Supporting independence could face life behind bars. So Malcolm Rifkin told us he fears for the future. This is a very grim day, and it's certainly the most serious setback on Chris Rifkin's and my career we've seen since 1997. What is clear is that the ability of Hong Kong and the courts of Hong Kong to have the rule of law has now been very severely diminished. With this national security legislation for Richard Republic, it will be enforced by judges. Appointed by the Beijing appointed chief executive. The rise of one of two drugs proven to treat coronavirus has been brought out by the US. The yeah, intro test is not available in the UK or Europe until at least October. It's made by the American pharma giant Gilead, but developed with the help of British teams. Dr. Andrew Hill, an expert on medicine access, thinks the system is unfair. We have to have the ability of, of UK um, health authorities to access these drugs in return for taking part in these studies and people risking their own health. We've got very little or no access to this drug. There are fears 5,000 retail jobs could be lost at railway stations and airports across the UK and Ireland. SFP, which owns Upper Crust and other brands, is struggling after battle yeah. failed. 1,700 you know, people are being cut at Airbus, while EasyJet and Ryanair are threatening more than 4,000. So much. Australian officials have banned international flights from landing in Melbourne for two weeks after a new COVID outbreak. Other lockdown measures covering 300,000 people in suburbs are being introduced until the 29th. 
Some of the infected yeah. 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 staff will be. Jordan, don't, don't, ever, don't ever think you're a failure. You know what I mean? Like, say, this, this pandemic is going on. Like, it's, it's affected everybody. You know what I mean? Like I said, you don't have to beat yourself up for it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you're a mother, you've got to be there for your kids. You know what I mean? It's like streaming comes second. But it's like I've always said, like, family always comes first. You know what I mean? Family, friends always come first on the streaming and anything like that. And it's, I've always stuck to that principle. You know what I mean? <laughs> the people who genuinely follow you for who you are will always come back, no matter what. Like me, you know, you're always good to me. We have a good laugh and everything. And I'll always come back and watch you, you know what I mean? So, um, and the genuine people will always come back and watch you. And I, I've always thought that, you know what I mean? Like when people say, oh, you know what I mean? Like, but it's, don't ever, you know what I mean? You've got to be, your family's got to come first, and that's why. Like, oh. like if people understand that in the street, then, you know, you, you've, you've cracked it, you know what I mean? Because people will understand that you, you've got to, you're a family person first. Streaming comes second, you know what I mean? So, it, you know, yeah, I would a list of something like 36 different locations in England where it is a shit place to be. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm you know, I've I'm, I'm fucking tried to top myself before, you know what I mean? This follows, of course, the through depression and shit, you know. It is a shit place to be, but you've got to be positive about things, you know what I mean? And like I said, you, you saw in that video the other day how much we appreciate it, you know what I mean? You know, it's like, you know, that's, that's pure friendship, and like, you know, it's like I've made loads and loads of friends from streaming, loads and loads of friends from streaming, and it's, you know, uh, the clampdown has begun. I don't know. Everybody's going to be there for you all the time, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, you can message people and they'll always be there for you. And like you say, you, you, you know, the true people always come back to watch you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I would I would beat yourself in Jordan Jesus. You know, you know what I mean? You know, you've got to concentrate on the family and stuff, so. It seems to me, though, that uh, this is a big move by China. What are you seeing uh, from the Beijing perspective? That's a big move. Okay, well, what we're seeing today is uh, the biggest thing we've seen over the past year. Like I said, like, it was good doing that video. I didn't, just, like I said, I just didn't realise how much a fucking hobo was, you know what I mean? So. Uh, now you have 
I'm going to start getting in over here. So I'm going to take the camera and put it set up in this corner here. So I've got to um, sort all that depend out there. So it's going to take a lot of working out. So um, everything up here is done. Just got to fix the walls off, but I'll do it later on. A couple of noggins to go in here and there and anywhere. But this is going to take a bit of time to do. So I'm going to move the camera over there. Um, and then. Yeah. 
Welcome back to the Independent Republican Bike Grand right here on Talk Radio. You know what to do. Uh, we want to hear your voices here because we are the home of common sense, not just because we make a lot of common sense sitting behind the microphone here. And when I say we, obviously I mean me. Uh, we also have great guests who, who talk an awful lot of common sense, and we're going to have two of those coming up in the next hour. We've got Neil Oliver, uh, the Coast Post, of course, historian, archaeologist, a man that has some, so many great ideas. Uh, it's almost impossible to get them out of him in half an hour. But also, we're joined by Matthew Side from The Times, columnist. Uh, uh, former um, champion of table tennis, uh, great thinker, author. We'll get all of their views on where we are right now. Uh, for now, though, uh, we're going to talk to Dr. Mark Parrish, regional medical uh, director uh, for Northern Europe International OMS, of course, because we thought we should right. check in with Mark to Let's find out what is this, because we're hearing, apparently, uh, that there could be as many as 36 other areas that will be in the in Leicester. Mark, so where are you? Um, we were asking this question yesterday, or lots of people were asking us whether the Leicester one, one whether the Leicester lockdown is necessary. I think it is, um, but we're also now hearing breaking news that there could be as many as 36 other areas, uh, which might include Bradford, might include Brent, uh, might include other areas of London, uh, that also will need some kind of local lockdown. And if that's true, um, then that is not good news. Well, it's interesting, isn't it, this, Mike? Um, and you're ahead of me on hearing from any other areas that have this issue. I think we've always known that as we bring down the overall level of coronavirus in the country, there are probably some areas which are at more risk of having a higher incidence, and Leicester would appear to be one of those. And we've seen that in other parts of the world. If you look at Australia, for instance, Melbourne has got a peak at the moment. Yeah. Other areas in Singapore have a sort of a, of a peak, and Germany has had some. I think we'll continue to see that. Uh, it relies, of course, on us having good detection capabilities, which relies on us doing a lot of testing. Mm. And then we would probably need, you know, we've talked about that sort of dimmer switch as to how we uh, control, let's say, lockdown and restrictions. Yeah. So some parts of the country or other countries where this is happening, we're probably going to need to turn that dimmer switch down a bit, which translates to having more restrictions and, and more lockdowns. Yes. Because it's one thing to control Leicester. I'm looking at the Times today where they say that police will actually turn back drivers trying to drive out of Leicester to go presumably somewhere else to have a drink. But, I mean, it's one thing to lock down a place like Leicester. If you're looking at locking down somewhere like the London Borough of Brent, that starts to become a bit more tricky, isn't it? It's hard, isn't it? And well, I don't know how you would do it. I mean, you could go on a tube train, for example. Yes. I think we're not going to go to the level that let's see some other countries manage this and think about how China manages this and South Korea, where there's a lot of oversight of what we do, where we go, yeah. and we can't go to many places until we show the little app on our phone, which shows that we are green, so we can go through various checkpoints and barriers. Mm. I, I think it's a bit hard for us to do that, and we probably wouldn't want to do that. Mm. So then it's a case of how do we put in place some restrictions to try to avoid this sort of now, how can we be sure as well? This is a question that came to me a lot yesterday. That the, the shall we say, the notice being taken of Leicester uh, is because of the fact that more people have tested positive, or is it because more people told by one medical guy in um, admission to hospital with the coronavirus? But if it's not admission to hospital and it's simply people being found to have tested positive, could that not be because they're doing more tests? Yes, absolutely, it could, because we know that the more tests you do, the more you'll pick up. But going back a little bit to this one, I think the good thing is we are doing more tests now, and the healthcare system uh, is better able to do that testing. So when we have done more tests, we will get more tests coming up. But that's why we will make a decision that, that, let's say, there's more tests in Western. It's going to be easier by doing more tests. It's going to look at the results of those tests. And it will come by the test from outside possibly with those um, interactive and combining the two and then turning those into some parts and have the point as we hear about the research. We're going to think about which parts of the country are maybe going to be a little bit more different from the past. When we think of them, this is dangerous, we think there are, there are more cases here. Right. And we've, we've seen that before. If you think a month or so ago, you know, when, when we looked at the UK overall, Cases were coming down. But what we're seeing is the amount of people who are in the north of the world were very high. And I think now we're able to get a little bit more accurate, so we'll probably be able to look at it more than just what we're going to do. Yes. And on the good news, we're seeing also statistics today that say death rates are back to normal for the first time in the last 
Yes, there was, Jordan. Yes, there was. Yeah. Yes, there was. Yeah. Yes, there was. Yeah. 
I was gonna do like a, I was thinking about like a hammer and a, like a handsaw up here. Like a handsaw as well, like a handsaw. There's like a, an emote, you know what I mean? Obviously if you wanna do this sort of stuff, you know, or like a, like a, a nail gun or something. I was thinking about something, something like that, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking something like that, you know. Some tools and stuff for like emotes, you know what I mean? And like the sub badges, the old and the uh, the two sub badges are gonna be the owl and the Bassinia one. Twitch, 
Twitch jam thingy, so. <laughs> Yeah, just, just them, whatever, just, you know, I know which ones they are anyway, so. earlier on this week about the whole business of well, the wife's messaged me as well training and why young people you said this once before when you were on um that if you want nah. to know history don't bother going to university. yeah that's fine uh, but, that's fine um tell us about Spot why on. you think that uh um, that, that learning a trade is the way forward of course it is well i mean first of all i'm not a product of the university hey i'm dark it's all right you know university degrees how are you doing mommy all right and, uh, how are you doing? Comes to getting into work, there are, there are many, many ways to Just trying to sort this out up here in the nightmare, mate, up here. Get um, it's not going to work for uh, every person, it's not going to work for the majority of people. And, just trying to sort this out, so get it. It's a lot right. It's, right. it's one of those right. things that it is right. complicated for many people. Oh, you're interested, sir. All right. It makes us better people. It's part of becoming a useful person. We are, I'm always saying to our kids, we say to our kids, be useful. It's, it's the most important contribution, and it's the simplest contribution they need to make. You as President mm. Trump Roosevelt said, the family is the best up. prize that life offers is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. And work makes us better people, and it's important to get some time to work. And for a lot of people, uh, it, their intelligence, they need to fucking do that shit. They need to do that shit. They need to do that shit. They need to do Oh. Yeah, I've got it all. Probably near enough there, mate. It's ready for Sparky tomorrow, so Sparky's coming in tomorrow, so I'm mask mask on all day tomorrow. Um, While he's, he's in the house, obviously, uh, we'll stay away from each other, and well, obviously we we'll have to mask up tomorrow, glove up as well, so that'll be on tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, it's gonna sort all this out, mate. It's just. It's a fucking nightmare, it's just an absolute nightmare because the way they've done it, they've butchered the fucking roof over here. Instead of like filling this in and doing it right, basically I have to sort it out, so, you know.
Yeah, I did, Jody. Um, I got an email saying about it, yeah. Um, that if I upload them, they're instantly uploaded. So, uh, yeah. So I'll look, upload them later on. If, if you're out to sort of do other things out, like say the bits of the tools and stuff like that, if you want, if that's all right. a contributory part of an enterprise like like a ship. Yeah. Of course, I'm not, I'm not. I'm using that only to illustrate a point. I'm not saying we necessarily need to go back into the past. You know, maybe maybe the future lies in. in nice work. Thank you. But, but there is no doubt in that, that, as you describe that, that spiritual uplift that used to come. Right. Yeah. Them, okay. You know, yeah. They were part of making something grander and bigger than they would ever okay. be on their own. I mean, my mum and dad, our family legend is that my mum and dad... Yeah, so you just upload them three sizes then? Opposite sides of the you just upload them three sizes and then when you I was there. The two families brought... You just upload them to the, 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 the Twitch line. The launch of the Queen Mary. Right. 
which is one of the partnerships that came out of John Brown's uh, before the meeting that was developed and worked with in John Brown's name, Q4. Uh, but they don't want to run so thousands and thousands of people, whole communities of people who went through in Glasgow, who converted the client to watch this creation of Moses and Jerusalem. This corner's a nightmare, man. This corner's an absolute nightmare. Go and rise above the town. Nice. So you're in with Shuk at the minute? But the school does talk about and encourage the apprenticeship, the trainership philosophy. So it is there, uh, which is a wonderful thing. It's, I think, in answer to your question, I think it's so important to, uh, to, to reinvest with dignity, to, to rehabilitate the, the idea of working. It's just a rough, a rough call. Rough cut to uh, just see what we can uh, see what we can do with this. So, have a little play about with it. Building cars, building building ships, making steel. 
that the cold spoon and entertainment has come to haunting the people without any one of them being the, the, the finished products that they would have ideated. And we regarded it as a trade. It was very much the trade yeah. that John did because ultimately you were making something that was a product that everybody had in mind. And some of them, you know, to watch the guys that assembled the, 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 the print and who are supposed to make pages come together, it was, it was a thrill. Yeah. It was a thrill to watch it because you know, they were so dead.